In microservice architectures, VMs typically communicate through HTTP connections. JProfilo includes an HTTP client probe that allows you to measure outgoing HTTP requests and track them between JVMs. To show this feature, I've prepared a simple Spring Boot project with two applications. First, a REST server that can add two numbers. It consists of a controller that has a mapping for the URL add and takes two numbers as arguments. The result of the operation is then written as a JSON object. Second, a gateway server. It serves static files and proxies API calls to the calculator server. The proxying is done by Spring Cloud Gateway and here we can see the route configuration to the calculator server. The HTML page to send requests is in the static directory. It looks like this. On clicking this button, a JavaScript method is called that takes these two numbers and sends them to the gateway server with a fetch request and then finally writes the result to the web page. Let's try to profile this situation. In IntelliJ IDEA, we can profile multiple services at once. After clicking on the Profile button, we first get the Session Startup dialog for the Calculator server. And then for the Gateway server. Now both JVMs are profiled. We'll be interested in the contents of the CPU views. In the Window menu, you can switch between the JProfilo windows for each JVM. To track HTTP requests between JVMs, we have to ensure that the HTTP tracking feature is activated for both JVMs. The tracking icon in the status bar gives quick access to the remote request tracking settings. Also, the recordings for the HTTP probe and CPU data have to be active. I've prepared a recording profile that starts these two recordings. When started, it will switch on CPU recording, as well as probe recording for the HTTP server and the HTTP client probe. Let's do that for both JVMs. Now we generate the request by visiting the actual web page. Let's try to add 1 and 2. As expected, the result is 3. Let's see how the request was handled. In the gateway, we see that the URL add was called. And below it, we see a node that shows information on where the call came from and where it was proxied to. There is a JavaScript backtrace for the fetch request in the browser. How does JProfiler know about that? You get this automatically if you install the JProfiler Origin Tracker plugin in Chrome. The JavaScript icon here shows that this node holds such information. The signpost icon next to it shows that this node is also a request tracking node. At the end of the node, there is a hyperlink to jump to the execution site. When we click on it, it will take us to the other JProfiler window in the calculator server. In the calculator JVM, the call is isolated in a call site node that allows for bidirectional navigation between the call site and the execution site. Note that clicking on these links always switches to the all thread states mode that shows elapsed times. The default mode in JProfiler is runnable. To see all incoming and outgoing HTTP requests in one place, go to the corresponding probes. The HTTP server probe shows the incoming connections. Here we see the hotspots view. The HTTP client probe shows outgoing connections. The default view here is the call tree view. Because the entire proxy operation is handled by the Spring Cloud Gateway Framework, we don't see any stack frames before the payload with the server URL. Generally most interesting is the hotspot view with backtraces. There are also probe telemetries, as well as a view to capture single HTTP requests. With respect to time measurements, you can choose to wait for the entire response body to be consumed 
or only until the response code is returned. Changing this mode will clear the current probe data. Settings for the HTTP client probe can be configured in the profiling settings. Most importantly, there is a script to determine the hotspot URLs. For example, if you want to limit URL segments or include query parameters into the hotspot URLs. On a final note, many cloud databases are queried through REST APIs. By using the HTTP client probe, you get automatic support for all these products, complete with call tree payloads, hotspots, and telemetries.